The fast castle into an economy room is one of the best build orders to learn as a beginner player in Age of Empires 2 along with the generic 21 population scout rush and 22 population archer rush. The main aim of this build order is to reach the castle age as fast as possible, make two new town centres and quickly grow your economy by constantly making villages from all three town centres whilst also researching the castle age economy upgrades earlier than your opponent. Once you've got a good economy up and running you can start to add military. You might even want to add another one or two town centres to really get that eco boom going. You want to aim to have a total number of villagers from around 100 to 130 in order to really maintain a strong economy and spam troops later in the game. But be warned, don't forget about your military altogether and wait until you have that magical villager number before you start making any army for defence. When you're at about 45 or 50 villages you should easily be able to start adding military units. Perfect castle age time using this build order that includes research in loom would be about 15 minutes and 40 seconds in game time and 15 minutes and 15 seconds without loom. Newer players should practice and aim for anything under 16 minutes. The fast castle build order is best used on closed maps like arena, hideout, black forest and amazon tunnel. Maps where you're less likely to be attacked early on in the game. It can be used as a pocket player in team games that means the middle player, not the one on the flanks. But in a 1v1, unless you're a low elo legend, it's probably not the best build orders used. You'll just be way too exposed and vulnerable to a feud later rush. So let's dive in and have a look at the build order. Okay, so we're going to start off with making two houses with those starting villages. They're then going to go over to the sheep and we're going to add another three villages until we've got a total of six on the sheep. We're then going to send four new villages over to wood with a lumber camp. Following on from that, we're going to make a villager who goes to lure the first boar. The uh, sheep villagers will go on there as well. And then another villager is going to come out and make two houses near the berries and then go to berries. And then we're going to send another three villagers to berries. Following on from that, we're going to take one of the existing food villagers from under the town center and go and lure the second boar and then we're going to add one more villager to the berries and at this point we should have seven villagers on boar four on wood and five on berries we're then going to add two more villagers onto the boar under the town center and those two villagers who lured the boar who are a little bit weak and they're going to go and make two farms we're then going to add another five villagers onto the wood with a new lumber camp and then we're going to add three villagers onto the gold after that we're going to research loom and we should be able to click up to the feudal age and at this point we should have two farms seven on boar or sheep nine wood five on berries and three on gold as soon as all the sheep have ran out all those villagers will just make farms around the town centers which will give us a total of nine on farms as soon as we hit the feudal age we're going to take three villagers off of wood two of them are going to make a market and another one's going to make a blacksmith and we're going to make two new villages and send them over to wood. Once the blacksmith and market have been built we should be able to instantly click up to the castle age and those builders will just go back to wood. Whilst they're advancing to the castle age you're going to want to research double bit axe and horse collar and at this point we should have a total of nine farms, eleven on wood, five on berries and three on gold. Once your berries have run out just send them over to wood and then as soon as you hit the castle age you should be able to make two new town centers. Just find a suitable place that's got some resources such as gold or stone and if needs be you can build one on the wood line as a bit of a defensive town center or to use it as your main source of wood income okay so once you've got your three town centers you'll need to constantly make villages from all three but I would recommend researching wheelbarrow first with one of the new town centers make sure you research all of the other eco upgrades with bow saw heavy plow and handcart as a minimum as these will make all of your booming so much better when you reach 45 to 50 villages you can probably start adding some military but finally if you want to see full run through of this build order as a slow a step by step guide that you can play along with click on the card on screen now and do consider liking and subscribing if you found this video useful